I like travelling to weird countries, the problem with writing things like Sunday Times or Mail on Sunday is at the end of the day, travel writing in newspapers is about selling holidays. So when you suggest that you might write a piece on Iraq or uh, North Korea, they're like, yeah, I don't know how much advertising we're going to get into that. So I did sort of quite light pieces, but I had all these places I wanted to go. And then one day, someone rang me up and showed me this article in The Guardian, again, which I don't read The Guardian, but they showed me this article. And it was about a country called Guyana. I don't know if anyone's aware of it, but it's on the north coast of South America. And in my opinion, it is the most, I haven't been there, but it's the most inhospitable, horrible country in the world. I know this for several reasons. It's famous for two things. Uh, it's famous for the Jonestown Massacre, which if any of you know about that, in 1979, this kind of cult nutter, a bit like the wacko guy, uh, basically got 900 people to form a cult, and they all lived in Guyana, which was the only country who let them in. They formed a kind of cult uh, town, and they were about to be exposed and closed down. He made them all commit suicide, so it's basically famous for that. It's also, if you've ever seen the film Papillon, it's where the French sent their, <laughs> their prisoners. I mean, it's the most godforsaken place. And I did a radio show ages ago where I was a... Uh, convict who won the lottery and was about to be released from prison and the story was that he was ringing around embassies because he wanted to go on a world tour but he didn't want to go to all the silly countries so he was trying to get ambassadors to kind of tell him why he should go to these countries and I rang Guyana as ambassador who for some reason was Dutch, I'm not quite sure why and I said uh, should I come to your country? I explained the story he went no I, I, I think there's no point no point at all, I go really? There's nothing to see in your country at all? He goes no maybe Schneek, Schwampsch Nothing else. So basically, this place is a shithole. And then the Minister of Tourism for Guyana, whose job 